Hi, this is Professor CC19, and today we're playing level 482 on our quest to the end of Candy Crush Saga, where we have 30 moves to collect 77 purple and 77 blue candies. Now before we begin, I'm not going to ask you to subscribe, however I will remind you that the button is right there and that I put out a lot of great content from Candy Crush to Al Gadoo to Wii Party Board Game Island almost every day, and that I have a special end of summer event coming up, my first ever Algadoo Marble Racing live stream Saturday, August 22nd, and a fan marble race to go along with it. So leave your comments below some of your favorite Alg Olympics and Marble World Championship teams that you'd want to represent you in the fan marble race, and be sure to tune in on the 22nd. Now, on to this level. I love candy order levels that require you to collect candy colors because I kind of talked about this uh, yesterday for level 481. They're really the only levels where it's a good thing to be chaotic, to not really focus on anything in particular just to make specials and send them off and blow things up. That's a good strategy, because if we just make small moves, collect three blue, three purple every turn, we're never going to make it to 77 of each in 30 moves. What we need to do is make big moves. It doesn't necessarily mean we have to make all our moves with purple and blue, we just need to make big impact moves to draw a lot of candy down from the top so we get enough eventually to collect 77 of each. So taking out this frosting, making as many specials as we can, that's a basic rule for any level that requires you to collect a large amount of a certain candy color. The only bit of strategy we need to watch out for here is the ticking time bombs that stem from the far left, right, and central columns we're going to have to be careful not to die. That's really the only thing we have to be careful of. And in this case, creating a lot of chaos should help us by taking out these bombs as they come down. And as you can see, once the board starts to open up, it's not difficult to get that chaos. It can get a little tricky when you have bombs all over the board, which is the one way this level can get away from you. Uh, I have a lot of blue and a lot of red towards the middle of the board. I'm not exactly sure how I can get a color bomb out of it. So I'm just going to make whatever cascades I can. Um, I really want to make a color bomb. I'm trying to figure out how I can do that. I can make a stripe with the red. Oh, here we go. Sometimes with the ticking time bombs, it kind of throws things off with the colors. But yeah, I can drop this blue down three and make a color bomb there. And now I'm not going to hesitate. I'm just going to take out all orange from the board. It's going to give me a lot of points. And it's going to concentrate the colors down, making it easier for me to make more specials and fulfill those orders. Now, if you're ever worried about these bombs going off, you can also try and beat the level by collecting the orders first. Because... If you beat the level, then whatever the bombs are set at, they won't go off. Um, let's try for another color bomb. I see it with the blue. And with the green. That looks good. And with the purple. So we can make three color bombs. And that would be cool, but I think it's more practical to just take out all red, concentrate the colors down, deal with some of these bombs that are pretty low. Now we can take out all purple. That should fulfill that order. And with the color so concentrated, we just have that one bomb left that's set at one. We can take it out. And all we need is eight more blue. Yeah, we should be good. There's, let's see here. Three. Um... Trying to make sure we can get this. Trying to make sure this is a guarantee and that we're, we're not going to miss it by like one. I can get three and I don't see how we can get another two in two moves. Um, hmm. We need to get more blue on this board. All of a sudden I'm very serious about this. Uh, hmm. If I do... Oh. I'm really not sure what to do here. 
I guess my best move is just to do this. All right, so it worked out anyway. All right, so all my thought, the obvious move was actually the best. So those bombs can be tricky because there are so many of them, but otherwise, the more chaos you create, the more likely it is you're going to beat this level and score over a million points, which is also pretty awesome. Either way, if you found this video helpful to you, please subscribe. Uh, if you're stuck at any other level of the game, please leave your comments below. I'll try and help you. And as always, thank you so much for watching.